know what you don't like about yourself? 229 feet. That's a distance between the bottom of the hill where he stepped and the summit at 29,029. That's where I uh, donated my nose and half my fingers to channel on my mother goddess of the world. At Mount Everest, we got pinned down for two hours in our storm. Do you have a picture of what your face looked like before it suffered frostbite trauma? Then what uh, got me off the hill? Just the thought of a graduation or a wedding dance can get you through anything. Not to be too personal, Mr. Gideon, but with such a large family to support, why did you risk the climb in the first place? I was a medic in the Special Forces. I, uh, I checked out helicopters. And I uh, met my wife, had my kids, and uh, got a job as a high school guidance counselor. And for the first time in my life, I felt scared. What were you scared of? Losing who I was. But when you are ticking off the years past 40 and the sailing is smooth, suddenly you realize, statistically speaking, hey, I'm closer to the end of my life than I am to the beginning. I decided I wanted my kids to grow up with the memory of a father who had lived his life rather than a shell of a man who surrendered to fear. So I, uh, I started climbing mountains. Mr. Gannon, to repair your injuries, we'll first need to remove the obvious dead tissue and then graft skin from a hard side on your body. If we do our job correctly, there'll be minimal scar. Small price to pay for the rush of being on top of the world. What happens now that you've lost the ability to get that rush? Lost in my hands. I'm going back. Mm. <laughs> Look, that ice covered bitch took my nose and I'm taking her son in. Not to be a fatalist, but what if you don't? You know, freezing to death isn't that bad a way to go. Seriously, your body goes numb, so there's no pain. The way I felt upon that hill, during that storm, my body was uh, totally numb. But on the inside, I was on fire. Hell, I take a numb nose over a numb soul any day. <laughs> <laughs>